This is Bentley, and he's a 19-year-old Chihuahua. He's here today for a bath and nail trimming, so keep watching to see how I work on a dog as old as Bentley and the precautions that I take for his comfort. So the first thing I'm gonna do is clip his nails because they are really, really long and I don't want them to break when he's in the bathtub. So that's number one and he doesn't love it. That's why I hold him in my lap like this. I'm sorry about your life. Good boy. Good boy. I know, you big baby. Okay, now we can go for a bath. Okay, so I'm gonna put him into the baby tub because that's the easiest way to bathe this old man. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy, Mr. Bentley. And this is just a uh, sensitive shampoo. Although he doesn't really have sensitive skin, but he is losing hair, probably just from age. Bentley has been coming to me for a very long time. He was adopted and he was kind of old when they got him. So he is ancient, but he's doing really well. His tongue sticks out of his mouth like this because he doesn't have any teeth. It kind of reminds me of like a really decrepit sloth. I swear to God, he like doesn't even doesn't even have like a bottom jaw anymore. <laughs> what happened to your jaw? <laughs> Where did it go, Bentley? What? I know. Okay. And then I'm just going to wash his face in a tearless shampoo because this one is not tearless. Come here, buddy. Look at that really hilarious looking face. What are you? Where is your jaw? And now we rinse. Right, buddy? Do your face first. Because of his bottom jaw situation, he drools constantly, right? You old little grumpy thing. Come here. I'm gonna dry in three seconds. You don't have any hair. Don't fall over, mister. Here. I'm just gonna put this down for him because he is old and he might slip. And of course, put the happy hoodie on him. That's cute. Look at you. Now you can drool on the happy hoodie instead of drooling all over me. Come here, buddy. Come on. 
You want it off. Oh, okay. Since when do you do that? Okay, here. If you don't want it. Fine. Where are you going? Mr. Bentley, I've never seen you have this much movement in your life. doubt that he is shedding today, but let's see. Mr. Bentley, what is your deal today? Yeah, there is basically absolutely nothing coming off of him. He's not shedding today. You're not shedding. Look, that was it. That's all your groom entails. Look at you being such a big baby. No, you stay there. Some cologne. And that's it. You big suck. So Bentley is all finished. It only takes me about 20 minutes to groom this little nugget. He doesn't really entail much. He is one of several chihuahuas that I have groomed, and I'll be honest, every single one of them was really friendly. I've never groomed an aggressive one, but maybe that's because nobody brings me their aggressive one. One of the questions I get often is, why don't I clip every dog's nails before the bath? There's a couple of reasons for that. The first reason is, if it's a new client, I am not going to clip the nails first because nail clipping can be very triggering. So the last thing I wanna do is trigger the dog right off the bat. So most of the time I leave it till the end. Another reason is because unlike cats, their nails actually get sharper after you've clipped them. So if they start scratching me, obviously it's going to do more damage than if their nail is very smooth. So that's another reason why I usually clip at the end. Okay, Bentley, you ready to go home? Bentley usually has a purse that he goes in when he's done, but they have lost the purse and he seems lost without it. Poor little Bentley. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again next week.